Hello and welcome to a new Green Star Wall tutorial. Today, we'll show you a couple of basic tricks for a perfect metallic finish on your miniatures. We start by giving a thin layer of glossy primer to the miniature, which will serve as a base to use the chrome paint. Let the primer dry well before applying the chrome paint layer. Once done, let it dry again, at least 24 hours. We're going to give a green shade using our candy ink jade green in the deepest areas of the chassis. Let it dry and proceed to cover the surface with a thin layer of candy ink ruby red. The green areas will darken, adding volume to the hole. While the chassis dries, we will work the gun with intensity inks to intimate the burning of the metal, starting with Phoenix Orange and finishing the tip in Tenebris Blue. Now it is time to use the dry brush technique on the rest of the vehicle with the metallic paint dry brush dark forged iron, so that all the volumes will be marked in steel color. Remember that a good trick is not to apply too much pressure when using the dry brush. Make gentle strokes with just the tip of the brush. Little by little, we are achieving a very accentuated metallic finish. Now, it is time to add the kit decals. Thanks to the glossy finish of the candy ink, the decal will be applied without any problem. Gently press the decal with the dry brush to remove any water that may be retained underneath and smooth it out. With the help of a sponge pencil and our gunmetal grey paint, we'll add touches all over the surface to imitate metal wear. Apply this technique gently and without overdoing it. We're only looking for a smooth wear effect, not an abandoned vehicle effect. With the help of our black wash ink, Atramentum Black, we'll mark the deepest areas of the chassis, applying a thin layer and spreading well in all deep areas. This wash will mark the depth of all the pieces, adding shadows to the metallic set. Now, we add some touches of color to the set, painting the optics and lights of the vehicle with amber orange. To age the set a little more, we will apply soft touches of our liquid pigment oxide, medium rust, in very specific areas. We will insist on the areas of rivets and screws where rust is more likely to be created. As always, giving small touches and without exaggerating the result. Finally, a little blood clotted on the saw will add a personal touch to the vehicle. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, like and stay tuned for the next Green Stuff World video. See you next time!